Hey guys, uh, welcome to my new channel, Airborne Transit. I want to take a few minutes to introduce myself and to uh, kind of introduce my channel and explain what I intend for this channel to be. Uh, I have another channel on YouTube called Alchemist Lair. In it I document uh, some of the work I do around my home shop, uh, rebuilding uh, my engine on my old Pontiac uh, that I'm restoring, uh, some motorcycles that I'm fixing up, a lawnmower, heater, furnace, anything essentially that I find that I have to do at home uh, I document and hopefully some people learn a little bit from it um, or are just simply entertained uh, just watching it. I know I enjoy watching videos that guys make just uh, just uh, to sit sit down and watch uh, videos, something other than television, because I can't do that. Uh, this channel will primarily deal with aviation. I wanted to separate it from the other channel, where most of what I do uh, is centered around uh, home projects and auto restoration and motorcycle work. Uh, this channel will more deal with uh, aviation activities. Uh, by way of uh, background, I'm a commercial pilot, professional pilot. I have an airline transport pilot rating uh, with type ratings in a Learjet, uh, DC-9, A320, 727, 757, 767, um, if I didn't say so, the A320, I did. I'm also rated on the A330. That's the airplane that I currently fly. Uh, so uh, I've been involved in aviation for over 35 years. And um, once I got into flying for the airlines, uh, I mostly got out of small airplane flying. And I'm, I find that as my son learned to fly, I got uh, that bug again to to uh, work and to be around smaller airplanes and fly smaller airplanes and uh, so that's uh, kind of the way things have been going lately uh, progressing lately I should say so um, we just recently bought an airplane it'll be housed in this hangar I'll show you this hangar in just a little bit and uh, uh, this channel will deal with the maintenance issues on that airplane, uh, the, uh, the flying of that airplane, the instruction uh, <clears throat> to my son and others in that airplane. Um, I also am working to get my airframe power plant mechanic license. Now, I went to school for it two and a half years worth when I was in college. I graduated from airframe and from power plant, but I never got the FAA certificate. Essentially the FAA's blessing to legally work on an airplane. And uh, so now that I find myself around smaller airplanes again, I have renewed an interest in uh, getting that airframe and power plant certificate. And I intend to do uh, most of the work on my personal airplane myself on this channel. Uh, I'm in the process of studying for the written tests. Uh, I'll include all that in this uh, channel so those of you who are interested in maybe knowing about the process uh, can um, see what it what it's, was involved in, the, in getting your airframe power plant. Um, and I'm also helping a guy restore a B-17. Um, I've been doing that for about the last six months and um, I will document some of the work uh, that we're doing on that B-17. So um, uh, I may also include some videos from uh, professional flights that I do which uh, are quite interesting. I fly a lot across the Atlantic and to Asia and uh, uh, 
several beautiful trips across Iceland and Greenland and that kind of thing and uh, I think some of you will enjoy that. So welcome to my new channel. Uh, I invite you to subscribe, uh, comment, uh, like or unlike at will and uh, uh, just come back and visit and uh, and enjoy. So here, let me uh, tour you around the hangar. Uh, obviously, the back wall here, or this is the side wall, I should say, and uh, the heater controls right there. The thermostat. That's really nice. Um, right now, it's minus 16 outside. On January 6 here in uh, uh, in Illinois, and I'll tell you, it is toasty in here. It's real nice. So there's the the tail of the. This is what they call a T hanger uh, because obviously it forms a T with the uh, bottom of the T there and the cross right here, from spanning from there to there. Um, it's a nice workspace but the airplane will fill most of this and uh, so we'll uh, I wanted to kind of videotape this before I put the airplane in here because uh, there won't be a lot of room in fact um, I'm expecting those tables to clear the bottom of the wing but we won't know until we get the airplane in here and here you can see some drifting in through there I'm going to have to take care of that but uh, otherwise the hangar has uh, floors a little messy but uh, should should clean up but it's a hangar floor so we're not going to get too concerned about it but I do want to pick up those oil stains and see if I can clean those up a little bit but uh, the majority of the videos I suspect will, will be done from this space here so I wanted to kind of uh, show you the space before I put the airplane in here and fill it up so alright guys well welcome again to the channel and uh, we'll see you on the next one